Hello everyone, we will continue the topic data migration using business object method of LSMW and in the previous video we generated the IDOCs first. For each and every record we generated one IDOC, SAP generated one IDOC and these are the five IDOCs which got generated. Now we need to process the IDOCs one by one and you all know who will process the IDOC process code will process the IDOC. At that time we studied the topic in detail that without process code there is no significance of other steps at all because if you are not able to process how you will get the desired output. So we will process the IDOCs using process code. And what the process code we will use? We will use the inbound process code. What is inbound process code? It process the IDOC and send data to our application. Application means it will pass that data to our function module which will store the data into employee table. Very, very important video. You will learn a lot of things how the real, real implementation is going on. Now, we will see everything in the debugging mode. So our step is start IDOC processing. We will process the IDOCs one by one and I will show you each and everything into the debugging mode. Now, if I will show you WE20, WE20, we'll go step by step because this is a real time to understand in debugging mode. This is the process code which we passed. This is the process code. This process code has this function module. Every process code has a function module. I'll put the breakpoint into this process code function module and we will run and we will see each and every IDOC one by one, how, how it is going to our application. Now, we we'll simply click on to execute button. I'll close other sessions. I'm just closing the other sessions. Important, extremely important thing is going on. Okay, this is okay. Now I will go for start IDOC processing. We will process the IDOC. I will go for Okay, execute. You can see breakpoint stopped into the function module. And first IDOC, first IDOC will come into this function module. If I will show you the first IDOC, if I will show you the first IDOC, this is our IDOC. If I will show you the first IDOC, what is the IDOC number 382027? Is this the first IDOC which got generated 3822027? Yes. And what is the data into that 100 and Rahul? Is this clear? Yes. It is processing the IDOCs one by one. So firstly, it will process this IDOC. Now, SAP will simply, simply check into this table what is the function module map to this particular message type? If I will do F6, you can see we are getting a function module. Is this the same to same function module which got generated in BDBG transaction code? Yes. If you see the table also TBDBE, if I will show you this table, in this table we have a clear, clear mapping. Whatever got generated in BDBG transaction code, SAP is passing the message type and you can see we have this same to same function module. Now SAP is calling this function module. So I will directly come here. 
SAP is calling this function module. Now you can see SAP is calling this function module. I will go inside this function module. Now we are inside this function module. Inside this function module, do we have our own function module? Yes. I will put the breakpoint there. Just see how the flow is going on. How process code is taking us to the right destination. Now you can see we have P employee. Is this the our data employee ID 100 name Rahul? Yes. Now control will go inside our function module. I am going inside our function module. This is employee ID. This is employee name. I'm passing it to work area and from I am updating this database table from this work area. So first record inserted to database table is the size sub RC zero. Yes. If the size sub RC zero, we are going for a success message. Success message is there. First done. First IDOC process. Just see. We are processing the IDOC and has IDOC passed the data to our function module? Yes, this is inbound process code. It is processing the IDOC, then sending the data to application and it passed the data to our function module or you can say our application. Now I will go for second IDOC. I am doing F8. You can see. Again, control came into the function module of process code. Now it will process the second IDOC. If I will show you IDOC underscore data internal table, is this your second IDOC? Yes, this is our second IDOC. This is our second IDOC. And what is the employee ID and employee name of second IDOC? This is, this is. Now, if I will do F8, now we will go inside this function module. Inside this function module, we have our own function module. Now we are passing the second record, second record. And what is the second record? 101 and Abhishek. Now we are putting the data to our table. Have you seen size of RC0? Yes. It means second record also inserted successfully. Now we are going for success message. Now it is a turn for third, third IDOC. Now you can see what is the third IDOC. If I will show you the third IDOC. This is the third IDOC. 28382029. Yes. Is it 382029? Yes. Now, if I will see the data of this IDOC, IDOC data is in this internal table. Is this our data employee ID employee name? Yes. Now we are calling the inbound function module. Inside this inbound function module, we have our own function module. Now what we are passing as of now, 102 and say to. Now 102 and Sedu, we are passing it to work area. From the work area, we are passing it to database table. Now you can see it is inserted size sub RC0. And now we are going for a success message. Now fourth processing of the IDOC. If you see, this is our fourth IDOC. Is this our fourth IDOC? Yes, this is our fourth IDOC. If I will show you 382030, yes. Now, what is the data in the fourth IDOC? 103 Shirali. Now, it will call inbound function module. Inside that, we have our own function module. And now, what is 103 and Shirali? We are passing it to work area. We are inserting to database table size of RC0. Now we have a success message. Now fifth iteration. Now fifth iteration 382031. 382031. Yes. Now 
104 akanksha yes it is calling a inbound function module now we have our own function module inside that we are updating our table size of rc0 and we will go for okay now there is no further i doc there is no further i doc all five all five process successfully are we getting a green signal yes we are getting a green signal so what we studied in this particular video we processed the i docs one by one and this is extremely important video last video and this video is extremely important we put the breakpoint in the function module of the process code and we saw how how we are getting the i docs one by one and how sap is checking the function module how sap is passing the data to our function module and we inserted the data into our own table in the next video we will verify our all results so that's it in this video thank you